Hi, welcome to today's video and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about this subject, mortgage relief. Now, if you're in retirement or you're nearing retirement and you still have some debt on your mortgage or maybe some lines of credit, you bought some rental properties, you've got some lines of credit, um, high interest credit cards, and you're feeling, you know, trying to figure out how can we survive this period of high mortgage rates, high inflation, you're just feeling choked, right? And you're also trying to think about, hey, we want to put as much money towards a retirement, but this is really pulling back on us. It would be really useful if we had some money somewhere we can get our hands on that would tie us over for a little while. And the answer is right under your nose, and it's called whole life insurance. I want you to consider if you've got whole life insurance. Did you purchase that long ago? If you're my age, you probably took out whole life insurance. And there's some cash value in that life insurance and you completely forgot about it because you just thought it's insurance. But did you know that you can actually borrow against the cash value? Let me explain how this works. Okay, so let's go into just a little bit of the mortgage or, or the interest rate history. You see the mortgage or the interest rates have gone up dramatically over since uh, 2022. And we're used to having this low rate. You guys went out and took you know, debt against to, to purchase income producing assets like rental properties. Money was cheap, but now we all got stuck and, and caught with this high interest rate. Well, the rates are supposed to come down and we're all holding our breath as to when that might happen and how often and by how much because you're looking for relief. But the temporary relief might be right in your hands already with the cash value in your life insurance. I'm going to explain how to get access to that cash value. There are two ways and um, hopefully this helps you out. This came up actually in a client meeting where I was doing a financial plan for a couple and they were feeling the pressure. They had a big house with still quite a bit of debt on it and uh, lines of credit and credit cards and they were looking for a way to how do we going to survive while we're waiting for our mortgage renew and, um, and just help us pay down some of this debt. And when we looked at their financial plan and saw that they had life insurance, I said, tell me about the life insurance. Do you have cash value? And they did. What a, a, a game changer for them. So let's look at this. This might be like what every life insurance policy, annual policy statement looks like. It's going to have your information on it, how much insurance you have. What you want to pay attention to where it says total cash value. In this case, we're just say $90,000. So this couple has, maybe it's a joint whole life insurance and, and it might have some language here that looks familiar to you. But what it says is you've got cash value. So you can actually borrow against that. Instead of taking the cash out as a withdrawal, when you do that, it lowers the death benefit, it lowers your cash, lowers the annual dividend. So it's not something you want to do. What you want to do is you want to do a loan against the policy. There are two ways to do that. I'm going to show you how to do it. And uh, if you have any questions, send me an email. I'm happy to help you out to figure out how this works for you. Two ways to do a policy loan. Here's the first way. You're going to get a loan from the insurance company where you have the insurance. So Sun Life, Canada Life, Great West Life, London Life, uh, all these companies, right? They all have whole life insurance. And what you're going to do is you're going to call them up. You say, how much loan do I have available? If I take that loan, I want to make sure that I don't have to pay anything towards that loan and I want the insurance to remain in force for the rest of my life. That's what you want to make sure. Then you're going to have to pay some taxes on that loan. Now, why you, you're saying, well, why taxes? Because they're giving you money that is from basically that you had in your, your policy. They're not actually taking the money out. They're just lending you money. And that cash value they have, part of it is your cash and part of it is what came to you as a dividend throughout um, the, the, the lifetime of that policy. And so you are going to have to pay some taxes. And so you want to know what that amount is. And the next is some of you may not be paying for your premiums anymore. You're doing something called premium offset or premium vacation. So you want to be sure that if you take a loan that it's not going to change that and you want to make sure that you're still not going to have to make any payments. Okay. So that is taking money from an insurance company and there it's going to be in your bank account two days later it's like that fast it really is super simple you don't have to qualify for it you don't have to prove any income you can be unemployed it's just money that's simply in your life insurance and you want a policy loan simple straightforward in your bank account 48 hours it's really fast okay the next is from a financial services company 
Many banks can do this, although traditional banks like uh, Royal Bank, CIBC, Bank of Montreal, these kinds of things, TD, they only do really big loans. So you're probably not going to be able to go in with a small uh, account balance. You want to go to other companies that um, specialize in doing loans. If you want to know what those companies are, because there's a number of them and they have minimums uh, in terms of the loans, just email me. I'm happy to talk with you about it. Uh, and you can book a, a meeting with me in the description below. My calendar is there, so just simply book a meeting. And I'm happy to talk about your your insurance. Um, the benefit here of going through a company that lends, um, uh, that is not the insurance company, it's a third-party lender, is there are no taxes, right? So you can actually get a loan from them, and there's no taxes. They, there are two separate things. One's the insurance company, and one's the financial services company. They're independent from one another. And you just also want to make sure that there's still premium offset, premium vacation is still available to you. And what do you do with the cash? Well, that is entirely up to you. But the, from the beginning of the video, I was talking about paying down debt, paying down high interest credit cards, paying down your line of credit, helping with cash flow over this period of time when you're trying to survive until rates come down. This just might be leave everything as it is, but you have this extra cash to help with the cash flow. And certainly the biggest thing here is you're buying time um, until rates drop. Now, I would always encourage everybody to get a financial plan. It's so important you get a financial plan and seeing the outcome of your planning decisions. But make sure you get a financial plan so you can run these illustrations and see how that works in your own um, life. Well, thanks again for tuning into this video. It was super awesome to see you in this video. Please put your comments below. Um, any questions, go ahead and email me or just put them in the comments. I'm happy to reply to them. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.